9000 displays traditionally human faculties. Independent reasoning, language processing, critical thinking, and neuroses. He's basically a computer that becomes so human that he's able to go insane, like a human being can go insane. That can be a terrifying concept, particularly if that computer is in charge of your life support systems. HAL 9000 has inspired and terrified two generations of computer scientists. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. David Ferrucci is the man behind IBM's latest and most famous breakthrough in artificial intelligence. The supercomputer, Watson. Well, I think of Watson as sort of this information-seeking tool, something that you could dialogue with, and actually, that has a, a somewhat of a neutral personality, if you will. Not, not so much how, right? The how's not the direction I would go with, uh, with Watson's personality. In February of 2011, Watson squares off on Jeopardy against the quiz show's two biggest returning champions. Watson is fast, knows a lot of stuff, and can really dominate a match. Watson handily defeats both men. Watson, what is clock? Clock is correct. And with that, you move up to 23,440. I was just amazed by that. Uh, and I thought, this is the future. I, I, can, I can program a computer to do anything I can imagine. Sophisticated algorithms allow Watson to learn how seemingly random words may be connected. It can't connect the words to human experiences, but what it does do is it connects the words and the phrases and the sentences that it reads to other words and phrases that might mean the same thing. But Ferrucci believes it will be many years before Watson even begins to approach the abilities of Hal in 2001. Is it really 